Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're looking to make your Power Buy reports work smarter for you or for your team, then this tutorial is absolutely for you. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up alerts and notifications in Power Buy, so you can track key metrics automatically and get notified when something important changes. By the end of this video, you'll be able to configure alerts that send emails or Teams messages when your data crosses the thresholds you care about. Let's get started. First things first, let's head into Power Buy on your dashboard. Now look closely at the area where your visuals are displayed. Right at the top, you'll find an option to set alert. This feature is really handy because it lets you put Power Buy to work for you, flagging the moments that matter most. Go ahead and click Set Alert. A new window will pop up here, where you choose the visual you want to monitor. For example, maybe you have a KPI card showing total sales or a gauge tracking the number of tickets in your queue. Simply select the visual you want the alert on. This step is pretty important. Alerts only work on specific visuals that support this feature, such as gauge, card, or KPI visuals. If you don't see your chart in the list, double-check that it's a supported type. After you've selected your visual, you'll need to pick the data point or measure you're interested in. Let's say you want to be alerted when sales go above a certain target. Click to select the relevant data, maybe it's total sales this time. Think of this as telling Power Buy, hey, pay special attention to this number for me. Now we get to the condition part. This lets you define what should actually trigger the alert. You'll see a few options here like when value changes increase by or decrease by. For most folks, the most common scenario is when the value goes above or below a certain threshold. For our demo, let's set it to greater than. Then enter the value that's critical to you. For example, maybe you want to know anytime sales go higher than $10,000. This is where Power Buy starts acting like a vigilant assistant, watching for that moment so you don't have to. Once you have the condition set, it's time to choose how you'll be notified. Power Buy can send notifications either by email or straight to Microsoft Teams. This is fantastic if you're working with a group and want everyone to be in the loop, or if you want a personal heads up in your inbox. Just type the emails or Teams addresses to send alerts to. Remember, you can add more than one recipient, great for sharing real-time updates with your finance team, for instance. After you fill in where to send alerts, click Apply. This is the final step, your alert is now live. Just keep in mind, depending on how big your dataset is, Power Buy might take a moment to set things up. Don't worry if you don't see an immediate notification. The system monitors these conditions regularly and will alert you as soon as your criteria are met. There's actually a second way to set up alerts, which might be even quicker for some folks. If you're looking right at a visual, you'll notice the three-dot menu, the famous ellipsis, in the top right corner. Click those three dots and you'll see an option to add alert. The setup process here is much the same. Pick the condition, set the value, and choose how notifications are sent. This shortcut is perfect when you're already drilling into your data and spot something you want automated. And that's it. Now you've got power by looking out for you, ready to ping your inbox or teams whenever your key metrics hit important milestones. Setting up these alerts can save you hours of manual number checking and ensure you never miss the moments that matter in your business. If you found this walkthrough helpful, please give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. If you have any questions about Power by Alerts, drop a comment below and I'll do my best to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe for more practical Power by tutorials just like this one. Thanks for watching.